So I have indefinitely, well not indefinitely, but definitely decided to come back to a masterpiece part of my childhood and that being Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Favorite Call of Duty game of all times. You know, it's just, it, it, it's just a masterpiece, you know? And it's like, I've never came back to a Call of Duty game so many times that I, I just never get tired of playing it. I literally remember being 10 years old when this game dropped and I got it and I just I just like I couldn't stop playing it. Especially when you're playing with friends from school. Yeah, it, it was definitely a, a, a different time back then. This is like nothing is the same nowadays. I mean, it might it might be all right. It might be decent, but it don't never, you know, stick out like the old Call of Duty used to be, especially Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Those were just, those are just straight masterpieces. I was so excited because it's just like diving off a mountain with a ring, with a wingsuit in the rain. It just, it just took me by shock, bro. And I still like it until this day, literally 11 years later. I'm not saying 11 years since the game came out. Has it been 11 years? No, it hasn't. It's been more than 11 years. I heard that they're supposed to be making a they're supposed to be making a another Call of Duty this year. That's that's actually supposed to be tied to this and it's going to take place in 2030 instead of 2025. Isn't that weird how this game Black Ops 2 literally takes place next year <laughs> and we literally just got into 2024. This game is still such a masterpiece, bro. No Call of Duty game will ever top this for me. Ever. They can make as many as they want. The only game, the only Call of Duty game that comes close to me is the original Modern Warfare 2. And that, that airport scene was something crazy. I can't see shit. They're close. I can't see shit. Somebody behind me? The hell? Oh, you know, okay. I remember this weapon. I remember enjoying the hell out of this. <laughs> Imagine this gun being in multiplayer. You know how many people would have been pissed by getting killed by this thing? Snake. Somebody. I'm getting fucked up right now. Let me go access this. Good. I should have known better. Even though we came in on their territory. This dude wasn't even just right here. I don't know where he came from. I like the target finder on it, though. Another thing people hate that I use in multiplayer. I remember a lot of the times I was just like... In Black Ops 2's multiplayer, I would literally just throw some smoke down, pull out a gun with the target finder on it. <laughs> And just shoot people through it, and they would get so upset about it. I got caught a bunch of racist things, but it didn't hurt me. And plus, it were different times back then. Everything was different. You say you say certain things nowadays, you'll be quick to get canceled, banned, or anything. world is getting more and more sensitive by the day. The optimal camouflage. We need to get our text. That's shit is about to go down. See? I remember damn near everything from this game. I've literally beat it more than I've beat it more than eight times. It might be ten.
I think they shot that. I was about to say, where's Crosby? <laughs> Damn, another one? Poor guy. I don't know what I don't know what language they speak, so I don't know what the hell they're saying. But it's either, it's either giving their orders to their teammates or talking shit to us. Or it could be both. You never know. That was almost a fatal shot right there. Oh, it's that damn thing. Did he get Okay, he got it. Let me reload this. I hear another. Harper, you don't see this man right here? I know like one of the scientist dudes are in here hiding somewhere, I think, if I'm not wrong. I can't, I can't remember every little detail, but I know he's in here hiding somewhere. He's either hiding or they have him captive somewhere. I think he's hiding though. You know, J5 doesn't know what the fuck to do. Weapons, components, armor. Menendez is arming himself for war. He's in here. He's in here. If I can remember correctly, he's in here. In weapons tech. Somebody's here. He's in there. Yeah, he's in there. It turns green when I point at it. No, wait, never mind. That was something else. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Okay, come on out. The He's like super pale. You start talking, or I will hurt you. My name is Eric Briner. I am a magnetometrist. Yeah, and what is uh, Menendez's interest in you, buddy? They brought me here to process the solarium. It's a new rare earth element that will render all existing microchip technologies obsolete. They're coming. Get me out of here alive. We've got company. Get on it, J5. Do your damn job. They refilled for everything, right? Yeah, they did. I don't want no damn shield. If it ain't vibranium, I don't want it. Here's another one. What? Is this hitting me through this? Why are there so many of them? Okay, well that was out. I think the other one is out too. I just, I just didn't see it. Alright. Those turrets are out. What the hell? Mechanism requires two operators. On your go. Of course, it would be me. Follow me. If you played this campaign and you remember as much as I do, you already know what's about to happen right here. Quantum entanglement. This single device has more processing power than your entire military infrastructure. Rumors around the lab were that Menendez plans to use it as the basis for a massive cyber attack. I heard talk of something called 
Karma. It may be the, the name for the cyber weapon. If Menendez uses a Solarium worm to initiate an attack, there will be nothing anyone can do to stop it. I couldn't stop it. Ugh. Going in or whatever. Damn it, no response. We'll fight a way out with or without support. It ain't over yet. Is he running? Stay down. Your team can stand down. It's Briggs. Okay. Stand out. It's the extraction team. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes? I guess we can call this mission accomplished. Admiral Briggs. He's like the Samuel L. Jackson of this game. Whenever Menendez is planning, Solarium is the key to it. Just a man, Admiral. He'd like you to think he's something more, but he ain't nothing but a sad old pitiful excuse of a man. 